Larissa, you don't look like the woman I married. I'm gonna call you Larissa McGillicuddy. I'm gonna call you Coach Cookie Holdy. What about that? Hey yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to Grim. Today, you know, I realize it's been so long since we've seen anything from Colt and his whole tribe from 90 Day Fiance. So we're gonna check in with this tell-all that they did once again on TLC, where they're pretty much in a giant group call, and you're gonna see that both Larissa and Jess, his two exes that have both been on the show, completely drag him this entire time. So keep watching until the very end because things get very heated. But without further ado, let's just get into it, shall we? Hello, Jess. How you doing? Shut up. I don't talk with you. <gasps> you just lie, lie, lie. <laughs> so starting things off with a bang, Jess is not playing around. Colt's trying to be friendly and she's just like, shut up, I don't want to talk to you. Even though I guess we will because, you know, we're on this show where we're supposed to talk, but I do hate your guts. So I'm guessing that they have officially broken up. I'm sure that's very old news. Like I don't stay super involved with this show because it's one of the many shows that I enjoy, you know, looking at on the internet. But yeah, it's safe to say that uh, they are very much broken up because Jess actually has her new husband or boyfriend on the show as well. I'm not gonna really show that part because it's not that interesting, but it's funny she moved on so quickly. But you know what, I'm happy for her. Let's keep moving. You're looking great in red. Look at Davio. Look like a demon. <laughs> I am so glad I see down to you. I pushed Larissa <laughs> over you a thousand times. Every time. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, things are starting off very toxic. I mean, we got Jess throwing some shade at Debbie, saying that she looks like a demon. And you'll see soon that Debbie is fully encouraging Colt in this conversation. And she's kind of like the little minion on the side that's like, yeah, boss, tell him. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. But really, I don't know why she's on this call because all she's going to do is be salty and then later be defensive. A thousand times. You look good. The devil oh, dress thread. And yeah, for those of you who have not seen Larissa in quite some time, there have been some uh, changes that have gone down. Her new husband as well, both of them have fully left Colt and that terrible ecosystem that he has with his mother, who he pretty much will always love and care for more than any of these women. Truly, deep down, I do think that this man wishes he could marry his mom, but obviously he can't. So uh, he's just going to be trying with these other women, but it looks like they are much happier with these new men now. And I'm sure that really triggers Colt. This is the first time that you and Larissa talking since when, Colt? By the last tell, Sean. So yeah, it has been absolutely months because I'm trying to think of the last time that I recovered one of these tell-all episodes they did. I think that was like four or five months ago at least. So they have not talked in quite some time. A lot of changes have gone down and I'm sure it's very weird between them, but I get it. I mean, why would Larissa owe anything to Colt? She already has her own spinoff on this show where she's, you know, doing her own thing with this new hubby of hers or boyfriend, I'm not sure. But she literally doesn't need Colt. I really don't care if Colt is here or not. John, they are in a club. It's out to kill Colt's relationship. Oh, uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> and this is some rich input from Debbie. She claims that Jess and Larissa are part of a club that are just trying to destroy all of Colt's relationships. But I think this is one of those situations where she really just needs to look in the mirror. I mean, Debbie, you are the reason Colt's relationships are falling apart. You're attached to him at the hip, pretty much. And you guys have this weird symbiotic relationship that gets in the way of any actual connection that he might make with someone. Not that he had a real connection with either of these women. But yeah, Debbie, I don't think you realize how much of a detriment you have been to your son's relationship so it's pretty rich that you're blaming it on these women when really it's all your fault like you're the one butting in and trying to just baby him through his relationships which is not what you want to be doing as a mother of a 30 something year old <laughs> they're so angry at him that he dropped them that they have this club that they talk to each other and they thought that's disgusting you can't do that <laughs> and debbie claims that they're in this club because colt dumped them and they're just so salty about it i don't know exactly how either of these relationships ended but the fact that they each have husbands now that look quite a bit more put together than colt i mean they're not rocking this 08 bieber haircut and this weird 2012 gap button-up shirt so already they're better off than colt but uh it's funny that she really does think that her son is all that and that these women are just so salty and heartbroken over him leaving them which is not the case that they're trying to just form this club and ruin all relationships of his. You got this whole thing backwards, Debbie. Come on. Yo, real quick before we move on, guys, do me a big favor. My analytics show that only 39% of you watching are actually subscribed. I don't know what's up with that, but if you guys are already watching the videos every day, you might as well join the Grim Squad officially. So hit that subscribe button. Do you have no models? Coach, I just want to say thank you for your mom's sabotage relationship. Now I'm happy. <laughs> 
and some heated words from Larissa, as well as Jess literally thanking Colt for having a mother like that so that she could have ruined the relationship and she wasn't then stuck having to marry Colt because I'm sure looking back in retrospect now, Jess realizes how much of a mistake that would have been. I mean, Colt already has his own issues that he needs to work through, so whether or not Debbie's in the picture, that wouldn't have been a good time. But with her, like I said, being attached to him at all times and being around, that just makes things even worse. And a relationship with this guy would be impossible. She looks different, let me tell you. She looks a little more larger in the chest. I never recognize you. I recognize you because we're fatter than ever. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, I'm gonna admit guys, at the beginning of this series, I really was not feeling Larissa, but for some reason it's the accent plus her insults. Like she is angry and sassy right now. And I gotta admit, she is really carrying the show. And you'll see here in a bit, Debbie starts to realize that Jess and Larissa are clearly much funnier and more charismatic in this segment. And they're technically winning this debate. Not that you could be winning in a conversation that is just a endless loop of insults. But she sees that and she starts to get really defensive and, and then is like, okay, if you guys are just gonna make fun of us, we're gonna leave. Larissa, you don't look like the woman I married. I'm gonna call you Larissa McGillicuddy. I'm gonna call you Colt Cookie Hold. What about that? <laughs> Colt <Cold. laughs> Oh my God, dude. There's no way. Okay, guys, if you are not referring to Colty as Colty Cucoldi, from now on, you are doing it wrong, bro. That is the best insult I have ever heard. And they are just straight up laughing at them. And it's at this point where Debbie really starts to get defensive because that was a good burn. We're not gonna sit here and be insulted if this is what's going on. We were we were trying to be nice to her and she starts calling them fat. I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand what's going on, host. We were being so nice and like, they're just being mean. They're bad guys. That's clearly not what's going on here. You're invested in this just as much as they are and being just as toxic. So you can't play that card just because you're starting to lose. Yeah, we're nice, gonna be Donna, and 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 come on, come really on. Active. You're not friends you here. My marriage. You are not friends here, is it you? <laughs> and more of the broken English insults. They're just so perfect, dude. Like Larissa is seriously carrying this show. I'm gonna say that again. At the same time though, this guy sitting next to her, he has to be thinking, all right, she actually was gonna marry this dude who's sitting next to his mother on this stream right now with this atrocious haircut. And his mom is just pointing fingers and trying to blast away at us. Like, do I really want to get involved with a woman that was gonna marry this guy? That's what I'd be thinking at least. Colt said that you and he had an emotional affair. What did that mean? So then Colt fully admits that he did have an emotional affair, he says, with Vanessa who moved in with him. He's gonna make up a lot of excuses, but really there never is an excuse for cheating. So Colt, don't do that, bro. You're a bad guy. You broke her heart, but you know what? She's moved on and she's on a better places now with this other guy who was just sitting here quietly and not really giving input. But yeah, after you've been with Colt, really you have nowhere to go but up. So <laughs> I'm glad this happened and that gave Larissa a good reason to leave because she would have just been in a constant web of toxicity. Larissa, honestly, I, I married you. I, I loved you. I never wanted to cheat on you or hurt you. I'm sorry that our marriage failed, okay? <laughs> and Colt's terrible apology is, honestly, babe, I loved you. I freaking cared about you, okay? We were gonna get married. I didn't mean to have an affair, okay? <laughs> Debbie's just trying to shush her. I don't know what Debbie's attempt is right now at some banter, but it's not working. Again, you're looking like the henchman to the main mob boss right now. Like the little short fry that's just annoying throughout the whole movie. We don't need you here, Debbie. I found a test from someone on his phone that I truly believe is Vanessa. Say, I'm done. I'm tired to waiting. Uh. Yikes. And some big tea gets spilled here when Larissa admits that she was actually checking Colt's phone, which is a sign that your relationship is going absolutely great if you feel that you need to spy on your significant other's phone. But she looked at some texts and one of them, which she could clearly tell was from Vanessa, even though I'm guessing didn't say her name in the phone. And that text said, I'm tired of waiting. So obviously he was fully having an affair and my respect went further down for Colt as if that was possible. I didn't think it was, but now let's wrap this up with a funny little segment from Larissa where she admits her new hubby does it better than Colt, if you know what I mean. So who's a better lover, Eric or Colt? That's a big question. Oh, God. 
Eric. So yeah, I don't know why they needed to include this question, but maybe they knew it would just really trigger Colt because we're about to see his response. And this man pops off, all right? The true incel energy comes out to full fruition and his final form is revealed to us. Let's see how he responds to having his name smeared like this. Let me tell you, I love the Okay, that's the first thing I want everyone to know. Because you're weird, you're disgusting. <laughs> I don't know how that was a good answer in his head, but you know what? I think he's just getting tilted and angry and doesn't know what's coming out of that mouth right now. We did not need to hear that, Colt. I'm sure we could all just assess that by the fact that you're trying to find a woman overseas that will marry you simply because you have citizenship. I mean, it's pretty clear you're a desperate guy. You didn't need to relay that to us. Which one is it? Am I you too much or not enough? Yo, calm the down bro <laughs> and yeah clearly he's getting extremely tilted there's really not much more with this tell-all that at least tlc has shown to us so far i might have an update for you guys there is some other clips that have gone on in the show that i've missed with colt that i do want to show you so there'll probably be another video later on but i wanted to check in with you guys and just show some funny clips from this freaking tell-all because these are the best segments on this show they really get tilted and toxic with each other and i just love that so much so let me know what you guys thought of this video down in the comments below. Colty Cacoldi really got just absolutely thrown to the ringer in this video. I feel bad for him, but props for getting through that, my guy. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video, and until then, peace out.